and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some five color planeswalkers in standard. This deck is not greedy whatsoever, and we are going to certainly cast all of our spells on time, 100% of the time, and everything's going to work out. If not, Oh well, <laughs> but yeah. So we have we have a crazy crazy deck here. Basically, how uh, so I put this one together based on the four color planeswalkers that we played in historic on Tuesday. That deck was awesome and it was a lot of fun and I know a lot of people liked it. And a few I had a few people uh, ask, you know, how could how could that work in standard? Like could could you have a similar planeswalker deck in standard? And I don't know. So this is what uh, we're going to go ahead and try. We don't have anything uh, like we don't really have anything like Otha Teferi that really rewards us for having all sorts of planeswalkers. Uh, but we do have Elder Spell. But then I was thinking I didn't really want to put Elder Spell in the main deck because there's a lot of decks that Elder Spell isn't really that good against in the format. So I guess so I decided to put just a couple Fey of Wishes in here to have with the fires of invention that could go grab elder spell if, if we need to but besides that like we're just going to be playing a whole lot of planeswalkers it's going to be fun um six mana we got them all we got uh five different six mana planeswalkers liliana chandra dovin architect of law underrated planeswalker right here underrated we got a garrick we got a nugan so we got them all the realm cloak giant um is just kind of easier to cast than kaya's wrath so that's that's why that's in here uh, Realm Cloak Giant also works pretty well with Fires of Invention. Whenever you have seven mana, you know you can get that seven seven Vigilance out there and do other stuff. Also, um, you can't grab it off Narset though. But oh well. Um, let's see. I I started with Drawn from Dreams in here, but then realized that casting double blue would be really difficult with the mana base if we don't have Fires of Invention, and so just didn't even add it. Um, I was gonna play Jace. Four mana Jace, but I realized that same thing. You could basically only cast it with Fires of Invention because even Interplanar Beacon doesn't really help with Jace. And so instead, and so that that's when I decided to go with Golgari Queen instead because Golgari Queen we can basically cast for, like if we have Interplanar Beacon very easily or Fires of Invention. So we have eight ways to cast it. And then at, at that point, I decided to just go Garrick Cur Curse Huntsman instead of one of the Drawn from Dreams and, and so on. But, uh, yeah, um, uh, let's just kind of play this out. Let's see how it goes. Like we're going to be really relying on fires of invention, and you know, let's let's just see what happens. Five color planeswalkers. We're going to play through a league. We'll play till we win five or lose two, whatever happens first. Yeah, <laughs> interplanar bacon. Yep. <clears throat> Tomato pasta. Okay, we got fires of invention. We got good mana. It's a keep. I guess our other reward for playing all these planeswalkers is the beacons that we get to gain life. You know, if we have multiple beacons in play, we get to gain multiple life for every Planeswalker. <clears throat> it can help us stay alive, help us stabilize. Uh, need water. Bulgari Gilgate. Oh, 
this down. I've got time. In case it's a counter spell deck. Yep. That one was pretty easy to see coming. They shock in. I guess. Oh, is this a flash deck? Oh, I guess this could be a flash deck. Now that I now that I think about it, because I did not think about it before. So like night pack ambusher. And, and Frilled Mystic. And that was a reason not to play the other Narset, so that they can't attack and kill a, a fresh Narset. Well, that hurts. So when they had a mystical dispute, <laughs> so we can. I'm surprised that attack wasn't at Narset. They're just letting me minus. Like four life can't be that valuable, right? Keep an open mind. So down to two cards. Wow. Wow. Obviously, take it, yeah, taking out the red source too. Gosh, if I could just kill this ambusher, I wouldn't be that scared. Mind and body, the thoughtfulness 
before action. Was I supposed to cast the Fae of Wishes? And get like to spark or mortify? Maybe I was supposed to do that. Maybe I was supposed to do that. Yeah, that's what I was probably supposed to do. Uh, let's see. No, this game's not over. We just gotta draw land. That was a really, really poor turn for me. It looks like, yeah, I should have just cast the the Fae of Wishes and gone and grabbed a spark. Oh, that casualties of war for the win. Okay, we're back in it, as long as this resolves. I, I'm more prepared against what we're playing, though. And can make some better decisions here with some of my lines. There's different times, different things that I was not expecting happened. Hey, Legitsu. Yeah, really got to see Nightpack Ambusher, how strong that was. I I should have just cast that Fae of Wishes. After the casualties, I should have just cast Fae, Fae of Wishes, gone and grabbed Dispark. That was that was a poor play playing the Narset. That, that cost me that. They had a Thought Erasure. They could have taken Dispark or Ugin, but they couldn't take both. I don't have a mana base that can support <laughs> one red land getting destroyed, unfortunately. So I'm expecting a discard spell to take a Fires of Invention so I want to back up.
So they have the Thought Erasure. So now I'm going to play Fires of Invention, because if I don't, then they can just play Ambusher. So I can just wait a turn, see if we draw, like, one of our duresses. That was a duress. GG. This is the greediest going Dragon God into Realm Cloak Giant. They have a counter spell, we're dead anyway. So might as well be greedy, because yeah, if they have if they have a counter spell, we die anyway. Still alive. The undead make great minions. Loyal and still alive. That's <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you put just a whole bunch of five and six mana cards in your deck. Maybe you draw them. Draw at the right time. Oh no! Ugh. That Liliana was gonna take over. Yeah, we do got the seven. Yeah, we do have the seven seven vigilance creature. Realm cloak giant just showing why it's so strong with fires of invention. Giant. Alright, got a third ambusher out of there. Did we get it?
No, a casualties of war? Uh Brutal. Please draw land. Just draw land. Draw land. Let us go to game three. Yay. Ugh. These ritual sits don't look good. Looks like they're just, you know, like, Sultai control with the ambushers. I kind of like keeping the Kaya's Wrath over in the sideboard for Fae of Wishes. So they have Liliana also. I guess I'll play Othakaya. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a great comeback. Oh, awesome storm. You were playing Okay, yes, yeah, so you're playing the Karns and Goluses in that mono black deck. Awesome. How are they? How are those two cards? Good, they kept a thought erasure hand. Hmm. Beacon is good. I kind of want just like a, a red source though. If I was going to keep a land, like if it was a red source, I would keep it. So of course we're just going to be playing Teferi here to keep them from casting instants. Yeah, we had we had we had a fourth deck scheduled, but just the leaks have just taken too long. We're not gonna have time for a fourth deck. Our first league was three hours. I am not going to sit this. No, I am not making this up as I go. I guess I shouldn't bounce that. Now they get to name Dragon God. Yeah, plumber. Uh, if you want to find the best of one decks, uh, just go to go to the the best places is on the YouTube channel. There's a playlist for best of one. So go to YouTube. Like I have different playlists on the YouTube channel, you know, for historic and best of one and and all that kind of stuff. I just started like the the standard playlist. Standard playlist could be, you know, thousands of, of videos, but I just started it. Yeah, we played against three sacrifice decks, you know, three Cauldron Familiar sacrifice decks that took a really long time. One of them we just won by time because our opponent ran out of time. And we also played against Blue-White Control. <laughs> so it was just... It was just one of those. But that just shuts down their own Liliana. Don't worry, I got Own this. your prowess.
Good luck with that. If I were you, I'd just surrender right now. <laughs> yeah, they they figured out. I was not gonna destroy the that spyglass. I was gonna destroy the nickel bolus one and then I guess if I play Nickel Bolus and Tick Up, they get to just exile their Spyglass, though. So I can just play Ugin and Tick Up. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. You played yourself. All right, five color Planeswalkers. Mana worked perfect until we got Casualties of Ward in game one, but besides that, it was perfect. Yeah, Blaz it is. Um, and... Uh, on the play, I would mulligan. I don't know. We got, like, Legion's End. Ooh, I, I don't know. I'll well, just try it. Um... But yeah, yeah, streaming is my full-time gig. It is difficult to get there. Hey, uh, absolute. But how do you pronounce that? Guava? Guava? Do you pronounce the G? But get get in the sub. Thank you, Secret Santa. Um, thrashing Brontodon. It's a hard G. Guava. That was a pretty hard G to pronounce. Oh no, what am I doing? I can't play the fires first because of the Brontodon. No, I need to wait on the fires. Just just play the ritual. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I was thinking about guava. <laughs> well, that could have been better. Yeah, now we gotta shock so much. I'm known for my excellent time. Here goes nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's a pun. That's a punt. That's a punt. <laughs> I would have shame quit. I I basically threw my fires of invention in the graveyard. For no reason. So now we gotta deal with this Corvold and all of its stuff. No, don't kill my Dovin. I like my Dovin. Dovin cool. Killing Dovin not cool. Not cool. I wish I had a Fire's Invention in play where I can be activating Castle. Oh, I've done the hero thing before.
Don't really see how this could... Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how this is going to end up in a win for me. They're going to draw millions of cards here with Corvold. That's more like it. Darn. I needed them to bring back the Cauldron Familiar there, and then I Legion's End it. That was my plan. I wanted to let them set that up to be able to grab it. All right, anyway, we got Cyborg. Got a lot of stuff to sideboard in here. I'm not sure about this Kaya's wrap. Let's leave that over there. Let's take out a Teferi. Yes, you can, Skebs. As long as if the as long as the the cats are in play, Cry the Carnarium will exile them. I mean, just a fairy is not good. There's kind of a lot of things, like four legions and two cry is a lot of things for their small stuff. Mayhem Devil. I don't have as much stuff for Mayhem Devil. Like specifically Mayhem Devil. 
So I could play Othakaya. No, we'll just go with this. No, Sarkin is not a good win condition, even with this many Planeswalkers. When you have a lot of Planeswalkers in play, you win. You don't need Sarkin. Sarkin is just really bad in games that you're not winning, and good in games that you're winning. So, not a not a card I like. <clears throat> Me throwing away the Fires of Invention really hurt that game, obviously. That was a really big misplay. Right, but Cry the Carnarium says that any creature that died this turn at all gets exiled. So I can play Kaya here to exile Cauldron Familiar, but then I don't get to play Fires next turn. I could still play Narset next turn, though. So maybe I should just go Kaya. And then Narset. Yep. Looks like I should have played Kaya the previous turn. Gosh, why is Brontodon so good? They're, they're tapped out for Brontodon now. Obviously, if they, if they destroy fires, I'm kind of dead. Or if they have a third shifting ceratops. Glad we got Chandra out of our hand. Gotta set an upkeep stop. Get rid of these. <laughs> Didn't I just get rid of those? Did I, did they go on top for some reason? No, they're just all on the bottom. Okay. 
Well, that's weird. Truth lies beyond vision. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we only have two steam vents in the deck. I guess we do have four blood crypts, but still. That's pretty crazy. One blood crypt was at, and was on the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. I was muted there. I'm sorry. But anyway, Fires of Invention is pretty good. That card is pretty good. Ugh. That was the only card that they couldn't hit. Dang. That was the only one. I don't know what I have left in my sideboard, but we probably have something good. Dovin is pretty good. Plain White Celebration is pretty good. Hmm. Gain eight and put Kaya and Chandra into my hand. I would have felt really dumb if I just didn't have seven lands if I only had six because I didn't really look down and keep count. I would Golgari Queen was going to be able to to kill. I was just going to do gain eight and get Ka, uh, Chandra and Kaya because Kaya could gain more life. May, maybe I should just do gain twelve and grab Kaya, but um, so they had multiple Ceratops. When it's trying to get shifty. All those ceratops. I was gonna destroy the the trailer crumbs with the Golgari Queen. Well I guess I guess Ugin could destroy trailer crumbs. I don't know if I should keep this. Fires of Invention is just too good. It's just it's just our best card. <clears throat> Beacon Cascaya. 
We just have to draw land. But obviously, I wish these two six drops were just two other cards. I wish I could shuffle those back and draw two others. But I really like the five card hand. Great hand for our opponent. This is just a great hand. Especially because of that Brontodon. And we drew three bricks. That was a really great hand. GG. I should have mulliganed. That doesn't look good. <clears throat> Just dropping Edgewall Innkeeper. No protection. Like no, like not even drawing a card off at first or anything. Planner Beacon. Alright, that'll do. Sorry, I'm late. This might be a bad idea. Now we have two more draws to draw, one more land. Realm Cloak Giant. First draw was a whiff with Liliana. Beacon. Begin. Of course, they get, of course, they get the great hinge. Why not? I mean, this just means I'm dead. Order of Midnight, getting back Questing Beast. Them having the Greyhenge. Oh, they didn't play the Greyhenge. What are you doing? How do I stop this questing beast? Is the real question. I just can't get a land. Ugh, I can't can't stop the questing beast. We're so close. Gonna get that land. Uh. 
Oh, questing beast. Still impossible to kill. Yeah, you could definitely use a sideboard slot for a land for Fae of Wishes to prevent that from happening. It does take, you know, like 7% of your sideboard. 7 plus percent, but <clears throat> that's, that's a reasonable thing to do. Yeah, there's 26 lands in the deck. All right, so we have Shimmer. Make sure that we hit this extra land drop here. Love seeing these interplanar beacons though. Ooh. That was a lot of good cards we just put down to the bottom. Why do they have to have Paradise Druid also? I mean, I'm still just trading Kaya for Exiling Innkeeper. That's probably a good trade. Why is Mono Black Krasis a thing? Because it's very easy to splash Hydroid Krasis and Mono Black. Very easy to splash. So I wanted to grab Cry of the Carnarium. I think it's a better card to, to have here. But if I do grab Cry of the Carnarium, then they can have, they can just like play like the, the three mana five five, you know, and and know that that thing would survive. No, I, I won't be doing the Artisan event, F Doom. It looks pretty fun. Uh, the, the prizes are, are just card styles that I that I currently already have, and so I'm just kind of bypassing the event. I'm gonna take out one more Teferi and play one Cry in the main. The reason why I played Kaya's Wrath instead of Ritual of Soot is because the Kaya's Wrath was... I'm gonna mulligan this. The Kaya's Wrath was revealed already, and so my opponent knew about it. And therefore... Therefore I used that. So now I need a black source to be able to cast Dragon God, and I need a white source to be able to cast Realm Cloak Giant. It's a reasonable card to play.
White source or black source? Um. <clears throat> There's a lot more black sources in the deck. So grabbing a white source could be nice. I kind of wish I would have just waited on the shimmer. I'm really tempted just to play the to just just to take the legion's end. I'll take the white source. I don't know, is I supposed to just play Kaya or Zav Usurper and hope they just attack Kaya and save seven life? Does that Kaya turn into a three mana gain seven? Now Kaya gains two life here. I had guild business to attend to of course, I need life. to play the Hallowed Fountain because I need to have both these white sources in. So it's unfortunate that I didn't get to gain a life with the beacon there. But the beacon helps me play Dragon God. Also. That's, that's still a good card. Please don't have another Questing Beast in hand. Ha! Ha! Get him, Robe Cloak Giant. Get him. Get him. Ah, oh, good. If one of those was a giant, I would have been sad. <laughs> Nick No. Hey, what's up, Nick? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Another brand new sub today. Um, back down to three. Back up to four. My thoughtfulness before action. That thing kills Questing Beast. Sub number 14. I have just the trick for this. Hmm. <laughs> this will pass your back. Well done. Good for you. Shuffling me off my mortal coil. Up to seven. up to nine. Your demise won't be quick. It seems fortune favors you. Guess maybe I don't need to do that because we have the Narset. I don't know. Let's get out of here. I think we're going to get this one. That's my prediction. It is a win.
I guess the reason to kill that is um, the Great Henge. You know, it's a very good chance their last card is the Great Henge. And they needed to untap with the dinosaur in order to, to cast it. Great Henge isn't very scary. Those having Narset, but still. That's not very good auto-tapping. Wait. Five color planeswalker burn. Hey Nick. We're a burn deck now. GG's. Man, Realm Cloak Giant has been so clutch for us. Hasn't gotten to rest. The 7-7's seven, been really clutch. It's been awesome. It's been a lot better than, you know, Time time Wipe or uh, Kaya's Wrath. Even. We need to find a land. Yes. Beacon is an untapped land that, does, you know, I don't have to shock to play it, and it can gain me more life. So that one's definitely a yes. Um... I don't know. Not bad. I guess I put it down to the bottom, see if we find it something else to play this next turn. I guess with the Kaya counts. Is it worth it to Oath of Kaya this Stormfist Crusader? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's why the wrong cloak giant was so good. It's a like you can't target it with duress. So if I would have played Castle, we got to Scribe. I'm playing the Beacon. So we get, gain that extra life. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. But maybe I should have just played the Castle. No, nope, Beacon looks good. Alright, extra Legion's End. Some Cry the Carnariums. This thing, those things, that thing. That's probably too much things. Probably too much things. I don't have any sweepers left for Fae of Wishes. Like, now Fae of Wishes isn't that great if we bring in all this stuff. So should I keep one sweeper over in the sideboard for Faye? Yeah, I'll keep a Kaiserath over there. No, Legion's End's awesome. Yeah, card's really good. There's a lot of people playing these aggro decks and Edgewall Innkeeper decks and all that kind of stuff. All these Gilded ge Geese and... 
Yeah, Legion's End is just really good. And so we got four of them. This is not awkward in the slightest. <laughs> we'll land the taps for white. We'll land the taps for blue. Car that costs black, double black, black, and red. <laughs> sure, what do you want? Okay, you got it. Riding Regisaur. It's a lot of damage. Please make that attack. Please make that attack. No. Darn. All right, we need a red land. We need to draw a red land. Darn, and then I was gonna say fires, or uh, Ritual of Soot, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say Narset had to hit Ritual of Soot and we drew a red land. And prepare. All right, Nars head out, Teferi in. Teferi does a better job of bouncing seven sixes. Yeah, I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe that's what I should have done, is just, yeah, Legion's End, the, the Knight of the Ebon Legion there. I was... In my mind, I was thinking that I need to go find something for the the seven six, but it would have been a lot safer to Legion's end immediately. I'm at fifteen at seven. You know, it would take three three hits by itself. That's true. Get this black source in play. Trust me. You'll thank me. Here we go. I guess that would have been a pretty decent place to play Narset also, though. I draw an extra card, they don't. That would have been cool. I've got it. Hmm. 
Wow. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. I'll protect you. Instant speed assert. I it's just like we'll still be fine. It's not that bad for us. Play a haste creature. Do I let them ember cleave? Do I take seven and sit at end turn at end step? No, I have to ferry. That's true, they can't ever cleave. That's true. Come on, land. Okay, give me that land. Well, that's not bad. If we would have drawn the land, I would have just played the dove in and done the minus one tap target creature. It doesn't untap. And just keep the Regisaur tapped and make them discard. I think Johnny Cash is singing about my sentences. They run on for a long time. It's like, yeah, I know I have run on sentences. Dragon God is Spike Last. Oh my gosh! I was. That's not the card I wanted at all. <laughs> I I clicked that to show that that and. Yeah. That was not good. I was planning on going and getting Golgari Queen. I think that was my plan. We should still be fine. <laughs> bye bye. I do just kind of need more lands right now. I 
No, Dovin. Yay, they didn't take Dovin. People don't realize that Dovin's actually good. Wait a minute. I guess if they have a, another Blacklands Paragon, I'm dead, aren't I? If they have a third one of those? How do I stay alive from another Blacklands Paragon? I guess I have to do this and look for a Planeswalker to play. No, because then that doesn't save me. I could do, I guess I got Fae of, of Wish Blocker. Yeah, so I need Fae of Wish Blocker and Narset. Because this gains three life, because it gains two life plus the life here. Past, present, and keep an open mind. Yeah, Kyle, Kaya exiling something would go to 9. This basically puts me at 10 with the 4 toughness. So this is just one, one extra point. Now I have instant speed removal with the Mortify. Didn't see a door, so I let myself in. You beat me this time. Bravo. Instant speed removal. And now I'll be able to gain three life with Dovin, two life with Kaya, so we can go to ten. <laughs> bye bye. I heard you said you better. I'll be back. <clears throat> and it's looking good. Yay. Yeah, the the infinite bolus play, that's the historic version of this. I basically took that historic deck that we played on Tuesday, 
with the infinite bolus and tried making it into a standard deck, and that's what we're doing here. Hawkeye, where you at? Where are you at? <laughs> there he is. He's pop, pop his head up. There he is. He's having fun. Scratching the desk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you, did, if you missed that logic, check it out from Tuesday. You can find it for the like the playlist. You know, you can just go to the YouTube channel, go to the playlist, look for, look at either the Tuesday Bruise Day or the Historic. I'm pretty sure I put it down under my favorite league playlist. Also, it's really cool. We had a turn five kill against Mono Red, making infinite nickel boluses on turn five. Looks like basically all of these lands are coming into play tapped. Well, I mean, the shock lands don't have to, but... Okay, there we go. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep, Hawkeye's back to his perfect self. Perfect. Gosh, these Brontodons have been devastating. We got the backup. The backup fires. So I wonder if they're going to blow up Brontodon or if they're going to let me play multiple spells. Like, obviously, yeah, I'd expect them to attack first, but I wonder what they're going to do after that. Yeah, Planar Cleansing would not be a bad idea. I mean, it blows up our, the fires. I I basically, I have a lot of stuff for this matchup in the sideboard. So I, I didn't put it in there, but I was definitely considering that. I don't really know why I'm playing that. I should probably just play the beacon. My plan, of course, is to have Kaya exile the Witch's Oven, but then they would be able to kill the Kaya. But maybe I'm still, still supposed to just do that. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Don't have... Casualties, you've got to be kidding me. Ugh. I like a good fight. Notice I didn't say fair. This time. Bravo. That was a very good casualties of war. 
So now the thing that I'm certainly worried about is this castle. Being able to let them refill their hands, because don't have a whole lot going on over here. Fight. Why didn't I play that? This isn't a fight you can win. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. That was a good draw. That's alright, I get the water grave in there. So we just put a bunch of lands down to the bottom, right? That's the thing about Teferi is like I don't want to bounce any of this stuff. I think it costs seven mana. It's ridiculous. Yay. I've got time. All right, we're We're starting to stabilize, but this is definitely not over or anything like that. I was just going to be tapping the uh, really large creature with the, the Architect of Law. Wow, Castle's a nice draw. Yeah, these Interplanar Beacons are really helping. Oh, don't just top deck Casualties of War. I'm running out of fires of invention. Come on. All right, well, I guess I got one more. They have all this food that they get to sacrifice. Okay. Got him. All right, what do we do over here?
Yeah, this is from, yeah, the Planeswalker deck. Yeah, it's the Planeswalker deck, Planeswalker. It's still good. I kind of like all these cards. I think I caught like one Ritual of Sip before. With all these Brontodons running around, I kind of need these these Ritual of Sips. Oh, excuse me. Cut an R set. <laughs> decks like this is why you run four copies of Elder Spell on your sideboard. But there aren't other decks like this. <laughs> That's so many Elder Spells. We gotta destroy Trail of Crumbs with the Golgari Queen. A little bit ago, I was gonna destroy Witches of it. Now we gotta destroy Trail of Crumbs. ramp. Please. We can kill. Meditate and prepare. We can destroy one trail of crumbs. At least. Don't be surprised if we meet again. And then maybe in two turns we can destroy another one. At least they don't get to draw more cards because of our set. Deathless Knight's good. It's, so I have to sacrifice either Narset or Fires of Invention. I have to sack one of the two. I guess Fires. Yeah, that's the thing is that they have casualties. Once again. They have casualties and make and destroy my other fires. It's gonna be rude, but we still have lands and stuff. Well, this is bad.
before they change their mind. We gotta hurry up and kill this trailer crumbs. Before they change their mind. Alright, now we got a 2-2 to block the Deathless Knight, so we're covered there. We got two trailer crumbs out of here, so that's good too. Looks like I should have just sacrificed the Narset. Instead of the fires. No, not a third trail of crumbs. Oh, and a Corvold. Those are the two cards we didn't know about. Man, those are two really good ones. Free tokens. They will allow you service. I'll find a use for you later. Keep an open mind. I guess they get to kill Liliana. At least we got three trailer crumbs out of here. No, I don't have a ley line in my sideboard. I do have, you know, like that. So I could have grabbed the Kaya and then try to kill this 4 2 and then eat it from the graveyard before they get it back. to be here. Your problems are my profits. You want oh, they sacrificed the wrong thing. I should have sacrificed the Deathless Knight. I'm going to have the Chandra right here. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. Now I get to exile it. Not being on fire problem. Okay, I still have infinite food tokens. But two Corvolds, three trailer crumbs. We're fighting through a lot here. Mostly because Fires of Invention lets us. No, don't. No, not casualties. So devastating. Just basically because it destroys my fires. That's like the only reason why it's devastating. I was going to... Um, I 
I was going to Fae for... You better watch your back from here on out. I was going to go grab Plain White Celebration, and Plain White Celebration was going to give me back all these Planeswalkers. All right, cool. That was my plan for the next turn. We're four and one. It is final boss time. <laughs> yeah, they really liked the cat. The cat. Uh... The cat was the last draw there. It's not easy to get through three trailer crumbs and a couple core volts, so but we did it. All right, final boss time. Wow, I clicked the exact same number of emotes for each one of those. I was lucky. Four cards and no land drop? Wow, my opponent thinks they can win with only four cards and no land drop? That's bold. So all they're doing is just being able to see what I'm doing and so they can sideboard accordingly. So they see Esper Control. What deck most to four? John Sacrifice? I found that sounds like a deck that would mold to four. All right, what else do we do? Cut the other Kayas. I think I took out a Narset, but Narset was pretty awesome. I'm gonna take out a Dovin. <laughs> Watch them try to unwordy go dance with the Vans. <laughs> you think this is gonna be a flash deck? Could be. I still think John Sacrifice. Could use an interplanar beacon. I guess maybe it's just no, oh, it's just Golgari stuff. Just regular old Golgari stuff. Questing beast. Will resonate throughout the most Got rid of another Order of Midnight? Really? Even though Order of Midnight gets back Questing Beast? Smart. 
started you eons ago. Hmm. I play Garrick, I kill the Ceratops, but then they kill both of my Planeswalkers. That's fine. Because then next turn I can go Dragon God, like in Legion's End, the Order of Midnight and Dragon God. Alright, Castle Art and Veil vale is not coming into play untapped. So let's go with... Let's just go Water Grave. It wasn't a very difficult final boss. They didn't play a single card game. You know, they didn't even play a game one. In game two, they molded six, and their hand wasn't that great. Your efforts are futile. We did a little bit too much leveling up here before we got to the final boss and realized that we were just over never ending. over level. I don't know. Maybe we lose. Guess that's still possible. Probably not, though. Now that we got the Fae. This, this, and this. <laughs> yeah, I guess that was good enough. Get all those things back. All right. Victory fanfare, five and one. Final boss defeated. It's 10 o'clock, seven hour stream, three decks. Our opponent conceded, that's how we won the game. But we had everything in the world in our hand and our opponent had nothing in their hand. All right, GG. So, yeah, so five color planeswalkers can work. Of course, if you, you, you know, if you're playing this later on at home, you can make some adjustments. You know, like if you don't have Dovin Architect a lot, play, you can play any one of the other six mana walkers and it's just fine. Realm Cloak Giant was an all star for us. Also, if you want to play a second Realm Cloak Giant, I really like Dovin just gaining two life every turn. Draw a card. That's, I like Dovin. Um, yeah, we had a lot in our sideboard against the, the sacrifice decks. You can see how we sideboarded there. Like the very last two times I sideboarded, if you want some help with the John sacrifice sideboard. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can, um, but I, I liked our matchup there. I think we had a whole lot of, of good stuff for that matchup. Um, and everything we struggled with the counterspell deck because all of our cards cost a million mana, but Besides that, this is a fun one to play. This is a fun one to play. Yeah, six mana Dovin underrated. So we had our in we had Nicol Bolas activating this beacon and calling calling for all the planeswalkers. And all the planeswalkers showed up. 
That's that's this deck. That's what I'm gonna name it for the YouTube video. The beacon is lit. Ravnica calls for planeswalkers. That works. All right, five color planeswalkers. Um, yeah, the spyglass game. Oh, I forgot about that game. Uh, poor spyglass guy. <clears throat> All right, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about Five Color Planeswalkers in Standard. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.